The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. The law on transparency of foreign influence came into force from August 1. This law mandates the registration of non-commercial entities and media outlets as organizations serving the interests of a foreign power if they receive more than 20 percent of their income from abroad. According to the law, these organizations must register in a public database under the same name and declare their received income annually. The Ministry of Justice is authorized to conduct research and monitor to identify such organizations with monitoring permitted once every six months. Failure to register as an organization carrying out the interests of foreign power or neglecting to submit the required declaration will lead to a fine of 25,000 lari. Additionally, the law outlets several other fines. Failure to fill out the application from within 10 working days of accessing the Ministry of Justice website will result in a fine of 10,000 lari. If defect in the document are not corrected within the specified period, the fine of 10,000 lari will be imposed. Committing an offense stipulated by the law after one month will result in a fine of 20,000 lari. Georgia's Prime Minister Irakl Kobachidze spoke about the relates to the subsidies for the grape harvest at the cabinet meeting. As Irakl Kobachidze noted, winemaking has been advancing from one year to another in the country and state support towards this sector is very big. As a result of state support, new winers have been planted, new enterprises and new winers cadastres have been created. Year by year, the quality of wine is improving. During these years, the export market have expanded significantly. The wine exports and harvests have increased to record high levels. Agrocredit system is functioning efficiently. Everything is being done to develop this field year after year. Special thanks to Minister of Environmental Protection and Agriculture for their efforts. The forecasted grape harvest for 2024 is about 300,000 tons. It's very important for the state to take all measures to ensure that this crop is properly stored and sold. The state will implement a financial intervention to support over 20,000 wine growers, providing them with the opportunity to sell their harvest. Additionally, about 500 companies involved in the harvest will be able to purchase and process grapes smoothly. This is the goal of the subsidy, Prime Minister said. In the first half of 2024, Georgia's tourist revenues reached a record high of 1.9 billion USD, making a 5.2% increase from the same period last year and surpassing 2019 level by 30.4%, Deputy Minister of Economy and Sustainable Development Mariam Kruvishuli announced. The Deputy Minister attributed these growth to increased contribution from the UN, Gulf countries, more airlines and flights, and effective marketing campaigns. We have optimistic expectations for the current year. We are sure that the tourist sector of Georgia will reach new record levels by the end of the year, which will positively affect the strengthening of the economy of our country, the sustainability of the tourist sector and, of course, the well-being of our small and medium-sized enterprises," Mariam Krivishuli declared. Levan David Aushvili, the Minister of Economy and Sustainable Development, assured that the country's European integration process remains ongoing and in line with the dependent comprehensive free trade agreement obligations. He emphasized that Georgia continues to adapt its legislation and policies to meet EU standards with a key step towards EU membership. The process of European integration is a complex process that includes many indicators. We follow the process from our side. The perceived delays might be due to the ongoing adjustment or divisions on the EU side, not halt in Georgia's efforts. I hope that with our consistent policy, as we have repeatedly shown to the public, including the international community, we will convince our partners that Georgia deserves to be a member of European Union, said Lewandowitashvili. Regarding new Secretary of State Antony Blinken's recent statement about suspending 95 million USD in aid into Georgia, Davitashvili stated he had no specific details about the aid. He emphasized that Georgia values its partnership with the U.S. and will continue to deepen cooperation with Western allies. 
We are not involved in the consultations regarding the law on transparency of foreign influence because this law does not concern our financial sector, said Nadia Turnava, the acting president of National Bank of Georgia. She further explained that the law protects banking confidentiality. First of all, it's known that the law does not apply to individuals at all, and in general, special legislation that regulates the banking sector protects banking confidentiality. Therefore, the law has no direct impact on us. We welcome transparency and are one of the most transparent structures, but this law does not directly concern to the financial sector and privacy. Naturally, we should not be involved in this process either, said Turnova. 5,594 permissions were granted in January, June 2024 for the construction of buildings with a total area of 5,393,000 square meters, which is 35 percent more compared to the previous year, according to the preliminary data from the National Statistics Office of Georgia. As of the document, 74 percent of the permits have been issued in four regions of the country, namely 47% in Tbilisi, 9% in Kwemokartli, 8% in Tshetam Tianeti, and 8% in Kacheti region. It should be noted that in January-June 2023, permissions were issued for the construction of multifunctional residential complexes, trade facilities, hotels, industrial enterprises, objects for agriculture purposes, and other buildings. 1,720 objects with total area of 1,600,000 square meters we are completed in January, June 2024. More than half of the completed constructions are distributed among four regions of the country, namely 27% is located in Tbilisi, 30% in Tshetam Tianeti region, 12% in Kacheti region and 9% in Emirati region. Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.